Friday I see we to drive. I'm gonna park my car here at the out end of Little Talbot Island and uh, taking the train. Alright, let's go and do it. the Dimukun Rail. It's reaching from south end of uh, Little Talbot Island to north end of uh, Big Talbot Island. That's the fully completed section. The actual uh, trail is uh, from Amelia Island all the way to Hanna Park. That one is not fully completed yet, but this one is. All right, that's the beginning. It's so good to get out riding again. <laughs> it's a beautiful trail. Absolutely gorgeous. The Mucan Trail is one of my favorites in Jacksonville. It's a beautiful ride. Oh, you see, common crown top just took off. I like this section too in Little Talbot Island, South End. Next week's gonna be kinda rainy, so today is the perfect day to go out and ride. I'm supposed to be on a bike tour right now, but <laughs> I got sick, so I had to postpone my trip. So I'm leaving now end of uh, September so I'm not gonna expose my plants yet but I have the train ticket so meanwhile I'm riding locally such a nice ride beautiful trail Used to be, this one was a road, but they closed up this section. I don't know why exactly, but they closed the south end of uh, Little Talbot Island for cars. Now you can ride a bike here only. I'm heading to the north end of uh, Big Talbot Island. It ends with the Spoonville Pond. So I'm gonna check out the birds. It's a beautiful trail. I highly recommend. Riding in Little Talbot Island. Timucan Trail. I don't know how to pronounce Timucan or Timucan. By the way, it's a beautiful trail. I'm reaching to the uh, ranger station now. The good thing about uh, riding a bike is you can just ride through. That's the gap between the two islands. Beautiful. The Mewton Trail is 8.7 miles long, completed section, but eventually they're gonna expand it all the way to Hanna Park and all the way to the end of Amelia Island. It's almost done. There are few sections that they have to add to get people out of the road completely. Morning. So now we are reaching to the first parking lot. That's where the new section ends. It's 
Yeah, it used to be you had to park your car here and take the trail. Now it's connected. So now I'm right in the older section. The new section ended and uh, I like this one. It's a beautiful ride. Next week's gonna be rainy. I'm glad I came out today. But you know, it's not rainy like rainy rainy. You're gonna have afternoon thunderstorms, that's all. It's already end of August, August 31st. The summer is pretty much over. Of course, not over in Florida. We're gonna have an, another month to go. September would still be in 90s, unless we have a hurricane, because that's the tip of hurricane season. Today I'm riding from Little Talbot to Big Talbot, but another time I'm gonna start from home, take the ferry, and uh, come through here and ride all the way to Valentina Beach. So that's the plan. So this is the second, second parking lot alongside of the trail. It's a nice ride, I'm truly enjoying it. And look how the trail goes through the woods, left and right, left and right. So the road is not that far. You can see through the woods. So you get some uh, road noise here sometimes when the cars pass. But that's okay. <laughs> it's gonna get hot today. It goes into 90s. I already feel it. Okay. That's the big Talbot Island main parking lot. But now we're gonna head to Spoonbill Pond, which is coming up. Here you go. That's the Spoonbill Pond boardwalk. We have arrived. Spoonbill Pond. I see some birds. Oh yeah. I do have a binoculars, but I don't have the zoom camera, so I can't share the birds. I'm gonna stop in the bird watching booth and I'm gonna check out the birds. A couple of Wilson's flowers. Ready, secret? I got herons, snow egrets, oh, whole bunch of birds over there. Oh, spoonbills. The name Spoonbill Pond holds up its name. There are spoonbills. Whole bunch of roasted spoonbills. <laughs> so cool. Morning. In Jacksonville we have two main bike trails. Jacksonville Baldwin Trail in the west side and the other one is this one. Commute Trail. There's that parking lot where you can park your car and ride the trail. See? Oh, let's go here. That's the Black Rock Trail. Yeah, let's check it out. It's off the rail, the trail, but it's pretty hard, so I can ride my 35 millimeter tricycle. Oh, it's getting softer. <laughs> it's not bad. Right now it's perfectly fine, no problem. Ooh, it's 
getting soft now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave my bike here. Let's go and check out the beach. Black Rock Beach. Oh, that's the Boneyard Beach. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, that's so cool. I'm gonna go and get the bike actually. I don't wanna leave the bike there. Here I am in uh, Boneyard Beach. It's such a beautiful area. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> the Mucan Trail offers so much. Alongside of the trail is a Boneyard Beach, Black Rock Beach. It's a beautiful area. Look at that. I do like it. Whoa, look at this one. Huge tree. Oh, that's actually... <laughs> someone built a hut here. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool. This beach is also called Driftwood Beach. But now we are reaching to the Black Rock Beach. Look at that. That's a hardened soil. It's like a black rock. And it's hard. Look at that. It is hard. It's like a rock. But it's actually a soil. This section reminds me of California, Pacific coastline. Oh, look at that. There's a lot more there. That's the main part of the Black Rock Beach. You see? When it's a low tide, it's exposed. When it's a high tide, it's mostly covered. Interesting that uh, Tides and the ocean can't actually melt this. It's so firm. It's like a rock. Oh, it goes all the way. I'm not gonna go all the way. I can't see my bike anymore. I wanna keep an eye. I don't think anybody would have touch it, but still I feel more safe if I can see my bike. Right now it's too far. Okay, that's the Black Rock Beach. I just wanted to show you guys how it looks like. Timucan Trail has so much to offer, so much to see alongside of the trail. So definitely check it out if you're riding the trail. And now I'm heading back. There is my bike. Hello. <laughs> now I'm heading back to the trail. It was awesome. I'm glad I checked out that. On your left. Thanks. The beach access trail, Black Rock Trail starts from the second parking lot from south. So I'm back now. And that's the second parking lot. But I'm heading to the little Talbot now. But yeah, now I'm heading back. Yeah, that was an awesome stop. Here you go, that's the first one. 
Good morning. That's the first parking lot and now the new section starts from here. It goes alongside of the road. It connects the little Dalbot and Big Dalbot Island bike trails. Completes the Timucan Trail. I'm back in the little Dalbot. Now I'm gonna go through the park. I parked my car at the south end of Little Talbot. It used to be you could drive your car to the south end, but not anymore. Now they allow only bikes. All right, I'm reaching to the south end of Little Talbot. Almost there. Awesome ride! <laughs> Last mile! That's the parking over there. That's the road I'm taking. Actually, I'm not taking this road. I'm gonna go underneath the bridge. Jimmy Kuan Trail! South Pond. Oh, South Pond goes this way. So it's not the beginning. It actually goes all the way to Hannah Park. But it's not completed yet. Alright. Here I am. And there's my car. There you go, I made it. I finished the Timucuan Trail. Whew, it was a nice ride. 8.7 one way and 8.7 back. And then I had a stop at um, Driftwood Beach and Black Rock Beach and now I'm heading back so if you continue south that's the south pond it's going all the way to Hannah Park but um, it's not fully completed so but another time I'm gonna do the south end all right thank you for watching and um, I'll see you all on the next adventure wherever I am and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Thank you.